so today we are going to discuss the third problem of lead code biweekly so the problem is we are given a string uh, which is a parenthesis string and uh, another st uh, string which is given locked we can change some of the characters of the string uh, if that is not locked and uh, we have to tell that we can make it uh, valid parenthesis or not so first of all what is a valid parenthesis we have to take care of that first so valid parenthesis uh, will be that parenthesis uh, which uh, for every uh, open parenthesis there will be one close parenthesis. So how can we check that if a parenthesis string is uh, valid uh, or not? So uh, if we uh, try to get the number of uh, like the difference between um, yeah, opening parenthesis and close parenthesis in a variable then uh, like uh, if uh, that is open parenthesis we will increment the value of balance and if it is closing parenthesis then uh, we will decrement the value of balance so like uh, like we will keep track of balance here so for if it is open parenthesis we then we will increment the value of balance and if it is close parenthesis then we will decrement the value of balance so and after that after the end of the string if the value of balance is zero then our string is accepted now there is another one case if the value of balance is negative somewhere then we should return false because that will not be valid because this string is not valid though the value of balance at end is uh, 0 but the string is not valid because it is 1 0 minus 1 0 so we have to take care of two cases the last value of balance should be 0 and in the middle there should not be balance value less than 0 so how can we imply that condition in our uh, situation uh, in the question so uh, if let's say if the value of balance is less than zero somewhere then we have to change some of the close parentheses to open parentheses that is clear uh, that is clear if we can check so we can keep track of the number of uh, we can keep track of the number of uh, open parentheses there uh, sorry close parentheses there which we can make open parenthesis right so uh, we can keep uh, track of the <coughs> uh, number of open parenthesis uh, sorry number of closed parenthesis which are not locked so we can take that as uh, i think unlocked not locked so unlocked unlocked uh, closed parenthesis so we will keep track of the count of unlocked closed parenthesis and uh, we keep track of the value of balance and uh, unlocked close parenthesis. So let us take that example. Uh, we will take this example uh, and we will check that how will our algorithm work. So so now uh, at at the first index, our value of balance will let's say this is balance and this is uh, unlocked closed closed. So at the first index, our balance value is minus one, and our unlocked close parenthesis, that means which the uh, value of locked is zero, and the, that is close parenthesis will be one because the first index character uh, we can change it to open parenthesis, so unlocked close will be one. So, so now we will increment the value of balance by two because uh, we are changing the uh, close parenthesis to open parenthesis. So our new value of balance will be uh, minus one to one and our new value of uh, unlocked closed will be 1 to 0 okay now uh, at the second index it is closed parenthesis so our value of balance will be decremented to 0 and the unlocked closed uh, will be i think 1 uh, will be 0 because it is locked uh, as the lock tie equals to 1 so it will be uh, 0 now at the third index, uh, it will be, I, I think, uh, it is open parenthesis, so our value of uh, balance will be 1 and the value of unlock close will remain 0 because it is open parenthesis, so the value of unlock close will not change. And uh, next, um, next the value, uh, next it is close parenthesis, so value of balance will be decremented to 0. And as it is locked, so our value of unlock close will remain same. Now, Again, it is a close parenthesis, so our value of balance will be decremented. But as, as the lock tie value is zero, uh, so we can unlock it. So it will be uh, unlocked closed it will be one. So now we can increment the value of balance to by two. 
so it will become one minus one to one and the value of unlock closed will uh, become one to zero because we are using it to uh, unlock and uh, at the uh, at the end it is close parenthesis so we will decrement the value of balance by zero and uh, the unlock close parenthesis will be one but this is of no, our no use at the end as the balance is zero so we will accept this string so there is another one case this is uh, this is very simple uh, so uh, our algorithm will be that simple uh, to design but there is another one case where at the end the value of balance is zero so we have to take care of that case too so now uh, if the value of balance is greater than zero after performing all the operations then what will we do so let's take an example uh, let me find one example uh, I think I think mm, we have to build some example like this so let me build some example so if the value of s is uh, this and the value of lock is this so then what will happen let me write the balance and unlock close here uh, so uh, mm, now if the value of balance is balance and uh, unlock closed so value of balance is first uh, one then uh, value of unlock close is zero then value of uh, balance is zero then unlock close is one and then value of balance is one this is one this is two this is one this is three this is one this is four this is one so now uh, the value of balance is greater than four, uh, greater than zero. So now what will you do after the if the value of balance after this loop uh, where we are calculating balance and unlock closed is over uh, is greater than uh, equal to equal to zero, then we will just return it true. And if it is greater than zero, then we will traverse from the end and we will check that if we can make uh, some of the open parentheses to close parentheses and uh, make the value of balance to zero so we will traverse from in so now uh, here uh, we will traverse from the last index to first index and we will try to make the value uh, <coughs> uh, we will try to make the value of balance uh, uh, i will try to decrease the value of balance by uh, changing the open parenthesis to close parenthesis so we will go to the last index the it we, we can unlock it so we will convert this open parenthesis to close parenthesis and decrement the value of balance by two okay so now the value of balance is 2 and uh, we will we do not need this unlock closed here uh, and uh, our new um, <coughs> our new string will be like this so uh, this 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 and this after that uh, we will go to the second last index and here also we are change we will change the value of uh, the uh, second last character to <coughs> close parenthesis and the decrement the value of balance by 2 because uh, we are changing plus one to minus one so this uh, the value of uh, balance will be decremented by two so now the value of balance is zero so then we will return uh, it as true if after uh, everything the value of balance is still not zero then we will return false so uh, we can do one thing that we will change the value of balance and after that we will check that if our string is valid or not so let me share uh, my code with you uh, so uh, I have written my code in um, Python so I think we will be able to understand because there is not something uh, unique in Python which is not in plus or Java uh, here only uh, so so we have two variables balance and unlock closed so if it is uh, if the lock of i is zero we are uh, we are before changing the balance variable we are uh, incrementing the value of unlock closed variable so now uh, if a si is uh, <coughs> close parenthesis then we are decrementing the value of balance if it is open parenthesis we are incrementing the value of balance if balance is uh, less than zero and the value of unlock closed uh, i think this is unlock closed the value of unlock closed is equal to, equal to zero we will return false and uh, <coughs> increment the value of balance by two and change the character of uh, this index 
if balance is equal to equal to zero i have told you then we will just return true because we can change it by uh, changing only the close parenthesis to open parenthesis now if the value of balance is greater than zero it can't be negative because if it is negative it will return false or increment the value of balance in that case if it is uh, <clears throat> positive then if we encounter we will uh, traverse from last and if we if we encounter some uh, value uh, open parenthesis then 